It's the Patreon request show. If you guys follow the uh, check my Patreon, you'll notice that there is a tier, a limited tier, uh, my $10 top tier. And originally it was going to be sort of a place for people to request, you know, classic records or records that I may have missed from years past and dedicate them in a segment. And it could still be that, but I figured I would just broaden the, the spectrum of what's allowed in that tier and just basically debut the first episode of this new patreon request show and i only got one patron in that tier right now uh shout out to thomas who's been in there for a couple of months and i i've been kind of trying to get with him and say hey you're in this tier you can request for me to do a thing and i'll do it on the channel or for me to talk about a thing uh nothing too broad like the discography of an artist or you know uh if it's something like a game you know i gotta work with you for like pacing and like timing to get this review out in tandem with everything else i got going on and his request surprised me because he's been in the tier for a little while i figured i'd go an extra step than what he just requested just to just to kind of act as a act of good grace uh for him and anyone else who decides to join the tier um, he wanted me to sit down and talk about the first Annoying Orange video, but I decided, again, because he's been in it for a minute, I don't want to just do that one thing that'll probably take me a few minutes and call it a day. Um, instead, I'm going to talk about not only the first Annoying Orange video and sort of discuss it, I guess, but also do the most recent Annoying Orange video, because... The Annoying Orange still makes videos. Danbo Films is still keeping that cash cow going, baby. And that's surprising to me because this property has been around for 12 years now. We've had 12 years of The Annoying Orange. How fucked is that? Or 11 years. It's been 11 years since The Annoying Orange first came onto the scene, at least as of this year. Um, 2009, October of 2009 is when Dambo stopped making short, shit-posty, face-editing-style videos, because that was his whole shtick, outside of a couple of really weird instances. Angela Smith. She's always been a normal girl, right down to one last minor detail. She was born with two pussies. And like I said before, they're in my jeans. I dug around inside and found an old-school Game Boy. Decided to pillage forth with just the brand... Annoying Orange, and he still did stuff for the longest time, but even his channel has stopped while the Annoying Orange continues to chug along, um, doing Among Us videos and all that sort of stuff. I was shocked. Uh, but before we get into all of the legacy of Annoying Orange, let's just look at the first video. And I'm talking about the first video on Dan's channel and the character, because the first video on the Annoying Orange channel is just sort of him introducing his channel. So I'm going to watch the first Annoying Orange video and then I'll come back and discuss my thoughts on it. It's only a 90 second video. 90 seconds, 92 seconds, launched an entire franchise. That's insane. Hey Apple! Apple! Hey! Hey Apple! Orange, you glad I didn't say apple again? <laughs> this is like designed for five-year-olds to just bask in it. Okay. Hey, apple. What? Knife. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh I, I warned you. Ow. Oh, that looks like it hurts. It's the only good part about it is, is the knife. The knife joke. Hey, pear. Oh, God. Hey. Well, there it is. Jesus, that's terrifying. I mean, that first video was innocent enough. It was just the orange being annoying. I could see it working for, like, a very young demographic. To the degree that it got to, no. Like, to the degree that it got its own channel, its own TV show, video games, it became, like, legitimately a franchise that you could just see everywhere, no. That video did not lead to that whatsoever even though like he's just like on 10 all the fu the whole video like he's just from the minute his shrill voice cuts through 
the speakers. It's pretty annoying. It's aptly named. And I get the whole straight man, annoying man dynamic, and that's really what this show thrives on with some really off-the-wall comedy thrown in there. And the off-the-wall bits... I mean, like, the, the knife I know was like a recurring gag, but, like, it, it gets you. I, I, it got a little chuckle out of me. Now, from this point, like I said... Dan just basically made this as seemingly his priority. Again, he did other stuff. But from annihilation. <laughs> and should we win the day, the 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday. Hey, hey, what's up guys? Dane here once again, back with a gaming video. That's right, I know you guys have been like, yo, where you, where you been at, Dane? And I've been battling my evil twin, Dane Bro. He wears a backwards hat, so if you see him out in the wild, he's very evil, don't talk to him. But like, the Annoying Orange was a juggernaut thing. It was everywhere, it had lots of cameos. It was with everybody that was big on YouTube during this era probably graced the presence of the Annoying Orange at one point. Now will date her, beat you up, good and plenty now, and later. The channel itself now is kind of strewn to just multitudes of ideas that like everyone else is doing on YouTube. Like, oh, let's make Among Us content. Let's make challenge videos. Okay, there is one rule. Only I get to push the button. He, he might actually do it. The hydraulic press is giving it all it can. Wow, top luck. <laughs> but, We'll see how good that comes across when we watch the most recent video, which is like apparently a food challenge centric video. Let's go ahead and watch that. This is 15 minutes long. And at this point, he's got other people. But I'm pretty sure he has most of the voices still. I beg your pardon? I'm asking you who. You know to be true about ghost peppers. Go! Oh, okay. They're uh, super hot. Super hot. One. They hurt your mouth when you eat them. First They're very hot, though. I've had ghost pepper sauce before. Steve here is not hot at all. In fact, he's a world-class mathematician. Wow. So what does he taste like? He tastes like a calculator. And Ricky over there, he plays basketball. Let I me mean, guess. He tastes like a basketball? No, he tastes like a normal ghost pepper, dude. They're not always related like that. Go ahead. It's a heck of a way to teach a lesson to kids, but... Work. It's Pretty fruit simple. eating HGT peppers. First one to reach for this glass of water loses. Sound good to everybody? Yeah. They can't reach for it because yeah. they don't have arms. Okay. One, two, three, five. Oh god, the blood splatter. How, you doing, How much you want to bet none of this is scripted? Why did no one mention Jerk was a plumber? <laughs> Gross. Gross. Like, the straight man, exaggerated man, doesn't work in this, like, hellscape of... I don't even know if this is, like... I mean, I guess the kids would laugh at, like, the voices, but, like... There's so much plot to this. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Little Apple. Today we're doing the Korean Spicy Noodle Challenge. Basically, we got a bunch of these spicy ramen packets. Like, this is a concept so many people do on YouTube. I've watched people do some of these challenges, but like... I don't get why... Put these, like... Also, there's no orange, I've noticed. We're like... Halfway through this video. That looks weird. Oh, there's the orange. It's your... I bet you that's on a shirt. That sounded like a dark, like, contractual obligation joke. We have to banter. 
It is absolutely necessary. That animation is just top notch. That was a fucking trip. That was a that was a weird experience. It was very surreal. Felt very out of body because the channel itself seemingly is now just this hodgepodge of characters that play a variety of straight man and uh, comedic interest characters. Like the, I was shocked that the orange came in at the very like the last bit of this three bit video. Uh, but outside of that, a lot of the content just seems more geared around, like, the type of stuff you hear kids' content is on YouTube. Very flashy, very random type type of comedy that I feel like, I've heard people say this before, it feels very unfunny because you can't subvert expectations when everything is just so sporadically done. And don't get me wrong, I like random comedy as much as the next guy, and I like weird comedy as much as the next guy. The shit with the fish barfing was kind of funny to me. It was in like a really low bar sort of way. Like it was, it it got me in a weird way. But a lot of this video felt very unnecessary because it felt like a clashing of mediums that don't work. And I don't know if that's how a lot of the content is now as far as like making content that doesn't work in ordinance with the current trends of now. But like it's it was weird to see this figure that, again, feels like a relic of an old era of YouTube still trying to thrive. And honestly, the video itself, how many views does it have? Shit still rakes in 162,000 views. That's bonkers. But I guess if you got a fan base dedicated enough, they'll still follow you till the end. I am I feel like I'm a testament to that. <laughs> I still got some dedicated peeps. Shout out to you guys. But uh, the Annoying Orange channel, the state of it now, is just bizarre. And I wasn't expecting it to still be churning out content. It feels like content in the same vein of, like, I've heard Gus talk about the Mr. Bean channel. But, like, this is still fresh content that they're making. As opposed to, like, super cut style, chopping up footage into its own sort of content for kids. This feels like the lowest grade of stuff you can give to your kids. But it's still being made and fresh. I don't know. This was jarring. This is a weird experience to watch where it's at now. Especially after watching where it started. Because again, it started with just these short little videos. And I know that much. They, If they had a bit they could make the orange put in, they did. And it just exploded into what it is now. Do I like the annoying orange? No. Do I recommend watching it? No. But, I mean, hey... If Dan Bo still has a cow to a cash cow to milk, I don't blame him for trying to keep it going to make a buck off of it, to be honest. Uh, it's just clearly never was, nor will it be content that's for me. And that's that's this. I don't know what this segment's gonna have. If I get more patrons in this tier, I don't know what they're gonna suggest. But if you wanna see me talk about something just about anything that isn't like again a full discography or anything like that if there's like an album you want me to try if there's a meal you want me to try why not i'll talk about just about anything for five to ten minutes uh <laughs> let me know in those comments down below if you like this give it a like if you want to see more of my music gaming and general nerdy content be sure to subscribe special thanks to my other patrons that aren't thomas uh their tears also, get goodies like exclusive content, early access to stuff, and to help drive the community. So the Patreon in general is linked in the description. But I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so very much for watching whatever this was. I'm going to go. I've been Viral Rack. You guys are good in situations. And I'll see you another day.